Hello, my beautiful faces. Welcome to my channel. Yes, this is me after a month, but I'm coming back with another banger. So today I'm trying out a new trick. So the aim here is to dye my frontal jet black, but without tinting my lace. So this is a trick that I learned from another YouTuber. I can't remember his name. I hope I'll find his link and I'll link it down below. But the whole idea, yes, guys, is to not have the lace tinted at all so um what i've done is last night i went in and i put some of the product then i remembered that you know what it's, it's actually best that i show you guys on how i actually did it so i left that little bit of portion for you guys to just see so i'm just gonna leave it uh just spread it out leave it like that for an hour because i have to dye this hair today but otherwise the other portion which is already dry dried overnight Oh, and um, I just want to quickly also explain this part here. I'm just basically brushing back the baby hairs. They were actually getting stuck to the lace. So that's going to make it difficult for me to actually get them dyed. So I thought, let me just brush them back using the same brush with the same product. And then here, I'm just quickly showing you guys that I did just time it up for an hour. And then after that, I went in and I started dyeing the hair. up for those that are new to my channel or you haven't seen my dyeing video i actually like working on damp hair when i'm dyeing my hair i don't like it when it's dry because i do feel like it takes up more product when it's dry than rather when it's wet so what i actually do is i just wet the hair and then i'll just go in with my product and now and again i'll just also just wet the hair just to try and spread out the product i find it easier that way so yeah guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell so you will, you will be notified every time I upload a video
this is 25 minutes later and i've just washed my frontal it looks good guys from experience using the got to be spray it did not turn out this good the last time guys i promise you with my brown my brown frontal it the lace got tinted very bad like it was so hard to actually get that scalp so at this point i am happy that i decided to try this trick because it really worked the other parts which are dented i'm not really worried about because on the other end i am gonna cut those um those out when i'm actually gluing down my frontal and the inside parts which are dented as well are not really much of a big problem for me because i am still going to bleach my knots which will lighten those parts and also another thing is that i will be going in with my foundation as well so they will at some point gradually they will kind of like fade away but the most important part which is the hairline the hairline is looking good guys i'm not gonna lie there is like one or two small spots but you guys will see that as a final result at the end that is actually very close to perfect so close to perfect So I let it air dry for a couple of hours and I'm just quickly going in with my hot comb, follow up with my John Frieda mousse as well as my gloss up spray. This is just to show you guys how it will look like as an ad product, you know, once I've done my wig and all. And also another thing guys, honestly, when it comes to this process, trust me when I say I've done worse, I have received like the most bad results, but I was able to work around it, but I'm enough because it's not the same working with a 4x4 compared to a frontal so with the frontal if you got it wrong the first time it's kind of like difficult to finesse and play around with your wig so yeah guys this is it So a mini montage will follow up after this and I hope you guys will um, actually get the full view. Anyway guys, love you so much and I'll see you guys on my next upload. Love you. Bye.